Hello, and welcome to another Science Man digital lesson. Today, we're going to examine the challenges that man-made dams pose to migrating fish. As we can see here, this sockeye salmon is having no trouble advancing up the Salmon River in Oregon. It's common for salmon to migrate up rivers to spawning locations. But very near this location in the famous Columbia River, considerable challenges face migrating fish. For example, here we see the Bonneville Dam, which is of course important for generating electricity for the surrounding region. But unfortunately, it creates a barrier to spawning fish such as salmon, steelhead, and sturgeon. It also creates predatory pressure on the fish as sea lions take advantage of the large concentrations of fish behind the dam. So to address the problem, engineers have included fish ladders to assist fish in their migration. The ladders are exactly what they sound like. They are a series of small steps that are more manageable for the fish to swim up, and also create still water areas for the fish to rest along the way. The ladders create interesting opportunities for wildlife management. For example, most salmon that come from hatcheries have small embedded transmitters. It's about the size of a grain of rice, and is detected by sensors along the ladders giving biologists valuable information on fish migration. As we watch these fish navigate the ladder going upstream, it's important to realize the dam's also a barrier for offspring headed back downstream as they travel out to sea. These small fish, known as fingerlings, because they're about the size of a finger, can have difficulty getting past the dam alive. For those that are sucked into electricity generating turbines, it's estimated that about 15% are killed due to the intense pressure. So to assist the fingerlings, engineers have designed nets, channels, and transport pipes that allow many of the fingerlings to bypass the dam. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the challenges that dams pose to migrating fish. Thanks very much for viewing this digital lesson.